Hello, hello. Good evening, Fernando. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm, I'm fine, teacher. I'm just fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's great. So tell me, how was your day? My day was, as always, is very busy and um, there is none new here. A lot of stuff to do as usual. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, it was a, a usual day. Uh, busy as always. Um, attending many people, attending meetings. Uh, you know, okay, no how, many, how many meetings did you attend? Did you have to attend today? Yeah, yeah. Six meetings. Six meetings today? <laughs> Six meetings, yes. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's usual in my, in my case. Uh, all days. During the, during the week, and this is my work because uh, people need to explain me something or or show me something uh, about uh, I don't know a new re requirement. Okay. Yeah. And about new or, about new requirements. About new requirement, or they have doubts about. Doubts, 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 <laughs> doubts. Perfect, perfect. Doubts. They have doubts about the last development, or, or I don't know. Uh, this week uh, was um, there is a new there is a new topic because the new tender in El Salvador. Because of the new what? Tender. Tender. I didn't tender get it. Tender uh, moneda. Currency. Currency. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but in, in, in our case, the file says that we receive uh, the tax are in English and the 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 payment, the name of the payment is tender. Tender. Tender, yes, tender. T in the T E N D E R. Yes. Interesting. Uh -huh. uh, in the in the translate, tender is no, la moneda. Yeah, but we don't use that a lot. <laughs> I mean, where? Usually we use uh, currency. When we yes, talk about the, the situation is this, look, uh, when we talk about the, the, the la moneda in curso, we usually say currency because currency is like a, uh, Es la moneda en curso o en circulación and divisa. That's currency. No, divisa, yeah. And uh, also, you can use it to say, yeah, yeah, la moneda en curso, la moneda de hoy en día. That's also currency. But tender is not quite used. Uh, but I, I saw a news on on the internet when the the I think the header. Yeah, people. the head. No, the heading. The heading. Oh the yeah, head, oh, but when when you when you are talking about uh, 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 economics, yes, you use standard. Uh, but it's just that uh -huh. it's it's sort of technical. Oh, uh, yes. So in no. our case, we call it tender because in the safe files, uh, the tax are called it tender. 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 Well, the yeah, yeah, is tender. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's tender. No. Tender is the same word that we use for tierno. 
<laughs> sí, lo vi. Like, I, I am sure that you are pretty tender with your kids, right? All right. Okay, that's the way we use it. In technical English, you can use tender for, for currency, but as I tell for you, currency. it's used in technical English, but for everyday speaking English, we say currency. Uh, okay. I got it, but so the new tender in El Salvador, uh, we we gate no no sorry, uh, nos ha dado it's gay it's gay us no has given us has given us many work. <laughs> oh, you know, actually, in my case, I don't even understand it. Has given us. Yeah, has given us, it has given us, nos ha dado, it, remember, present perfect. Okay, it has given us many work. Yeah, because... in my case, I, I don't understand it. I mean, I don't know how it's going to work. And, and I haven't taken the time to, to look it up. You know, I'm, it's not like I am, it's like, I'm not that interested in it. Okay. But I imagine that in your area is, I mean, it's a big yeah. thing. Uh, yeah, that's because uh, we need to configure the, or to adequate, to adequate the repo. Well, yeah, to configure or to adequate, oh my gosh, you are going to be working with two different currencies? Uh, in, in, in my case, I work with uh, I don't know, five different currency. No, but uh, I mean, two, oh, two Salvador, different ones for El Salvador. Ah, oh, for El Salvador, uh, yes, free, by the way, free because we work on EU. I'm sorry? We work on Euro, Euro. Oh yeah, Euro, Euro. 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 Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So, we handle three currency in this case, but in this country. Okay. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, you know, making, I mean, converting coins from one uh, denomination to another one, uh, sometimes it's good for the company, sometimes it's bad. Yes. It's, because it's, the value of uh, currency, it fluctuates. Yeah. It's a mess uh, month a month because it's changed the, the, the value. From month to month. Uh, month from month to month, oh, yeah. And there is a month that when where the, the, the difference is is bigger than other month and it's it's complicated. It's a counting topic. Yeah, I am but I am I, I involved in, in that. I am involved. I am involved. Or I okay. get involved. Oh, I, I get involved in that because I no, they told me the report doesn't the report doesn't uh, no quarter. Doesn't match. And the report doesn't match, but uh, it's for the the round. Yeah. Man, that's gonna be crazy for you now. Yeah, yeah. It's, in my case, it's, it's usually. Yeah, well, yeah, it's your, it's your braille. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's my uh, dia a dia. It's your braille, it's your daily braille. It's daily braille, oh, yes. And I am Yeah, I can imagine. Well, welcome, Fernando. It's quite interesting talking to you, my friend. Thank you. William. Hello, William. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? That's perfect. Okay. Tell me, how was your day? My day in my work is uh, very hard, teacher. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Why did you oh, have something day, special uh, to do? Every day. What? Every day are 
really hard. Uh, I understand, teacher. Every day are pretty hard. Those oh, yes. We do. Every day are pretty hard. Every day, teacher. Yes. Okay. And what time did you finish working today? Yesterday you told me that you finished 20 minutes after the normal uh, normal time. So what time did you finish today? Uh, five, 40 minutes. Okay. 5.40, later. What? Wow. Today you finish it later. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So you're ha you're having a lot of you're having a lot of work. That's for very well. Yeah. Very, very much. Very much. The weather is perfect. Oh yeah. It's time. Uh, raining now here. Well, you know, here in my house, it's it's just a little a little mist. Una pequeña llovizna, a little mist, and it's hot. For me, it's hot today. Right now, for me, it's like ah, terrible. Uh, uh, tal, tal. So in English, I cousin back, I need to learn more vocabulary. Oh, yeah. Well, don't worry, that's normal. Everybody needs to learn more vocabulary. I mean, I yes. need to learn more vocabulary. That's normal, so don't worry about it. That's quite How normal. How do you say meta, teacher? Everybody. Goal, goal. Goal, uh, uh, I have a daily goal. That's your goal right now to get more vocabulary. That's good. Uh, there's more vocabulary right now. That's great. That's great. It's always good to get more vocabulary. I mean, that's really important, actually. I have well, one notebook with uh, uh, so words. Well, you know what, uh, my friend, let me see. Just let me check something. Uh, William, William Shivani. Next Monday, próximo lunes, I got the 10 minutes one-on-one. -on -one. I will give you some tips to get more vocabulary. Vamos a trabajar right. con eso vocabulario. No, to, Monday is for you, today is, is Susana's. Okay, <laughs> Today is Susana's turn. Thank you very much, William. Welcome. Susana, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. How are you? <laughs> how are you, teacher? I am I'm just fine. fine. What about you? Uh, I, I'm reading the homework. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Okay, Susana. Oh, remember, tonight you are staying with me later, okay? After the class. Okay, teacher. This is a uh, in, in, in my notebook. <laughs> okay. And tell me, Susana, uh, what time did you finish working today? Uh, uh, seven o'clock teacher <laughs> at seven, seven oh my o gosh <laughs> you just finished it yes teacher but i in, in the moment the homework <laughs> okay well you can do the homework later i mean don't worry okay. about it right now concentrate in the class Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, but I, 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 I made uh, the the um, the exercise in the in the come in the platform. Uh huh. But yes, but I, you are missing you are missing the midterm 
Me da de cada media es el midterm test. You have yes, just done the 25 yes. points. Have you gotten right now? Sí, but uh, I, o sea, in Spanish teacher, porque no lo puedo decir in Spanish, in English. Pero las hago y me salen malas. The midterm, text me. Cuando sea del midterm, text me. Okay? And we will see how oh. we can help you. Y vamos a ver cómo le ayudamos. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Because midterm is for tonight. Les dije, el midterm es para esta noche. Yes, teacher. Okay. But, uh, we are uh, uh, to Yeah. Uh, and the be. problem is that the problem is that I have until midnight to get the grades. Yo tengo hasta medianoche para presentar las notas. So, if not, I mean, it's, you can do it later. Si no, lo pueden hacer luego. But, I mean, uh, 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 it's a different process that I have to follow in order to register your grades if they are a little bit late. But I, I know you're going to do it. So, no worries, Susana. Today after the class, we can help you, okay? Okay, teacher. Next in the class, I, I, I continue the, the, the exercise, the platform. Yeah, sure. I mean, okay. let's see. Thank you very much, Susana. Welcome to the class. Ambar, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Ambar. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm just great. Congratulations. You finished section one, section two, and midterm. That's great. Yes, uh, I I only have a problem with the in, homework in, two in section two. Yeah, yes. I think it's the one for the the one of the apostrophes, right? Exactly. Yeah, and I don't know what's the problem because some of your classmates got it like a hundred percent. No problem. Algunos de sus compañeros lo han hecho y lo tienen completo. So perhaps it, it gotta be keyboard. Tiene que ver con el teclado, most probably. We will try to find out what's, what's the situation number. Eh, bueno, yo incluso traté de copiar el mismo que está en el, digamos, en el ítem. Copiar y pegar y no, siempre me daba error. That's weird. That's pretty weird. We will look it up. Yeah, but the rest, you got it perfect, I can see. The rest of the exercises were perfect. And the midterm, it was perfect for you. Wow, that's cool. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Congratulations. And tell me, Ambar. Where are you? Oh, right here. It's just that there is not your camera on. So tell me, how was your day? Mm, uh, I, uh, I, sorry, it was busy day too. Because I, I have a good day for my sales. I'm sorry? I have a good day for my sales. Okay, really? Yes. That's great. Yes. I step by step, uh, I hope to go my goals. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, yes. that's nice. Hold on, just give me a second, Amber. That Walter is having problems with getting into the class. Most probably he's using a different uh, link. Puede ser que me esté usando el enlace anterior. Just a second. Okay. Here we go. Okay, thank you very much. So, I'm sorry, Amber. You were telling me that you had a good day for sales. Oh my gosh, that's two days in a row, right? Yesterday was a good day for you also. Or was it the day before? Uh, can you repeat me your question, please, sorry? Uh, 
you're telling me that today you had a good day for sales, right? Yes. And and was it yesterday or the day before that you also had a good day? Yes, uh, my last day in my work, uh, it was very, very good. Uh, Monday, oh. Tuesday, and today. Too. Okay. No, it was very good. Day. In this case was... is present perfect. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Be ah. patient, be patient. Be patient with me, please. I'm texting so everybody can benefit. Okay. Okay. They have been unsealed. Okay. They have been good days. Very, yeah, they have been good days. That's excellent. Wow. Okay. So yes. good commission. Wow. That's great. I hope. I hope to be. How do you say? Espero que sea así. I hope so. I hope so. Okay. Yeah, of course. And I mean, the, the main thing is for you to get to read, for you to reach your goal, right? Well, exactly. Yes. And the rest is benefit. Yes, it's a benefit and I need money. <laughs> Well, everybody does, my dear. Everybody do. Everybody yes. needs money. Uh, tell me about it, man. Money flies away in, on my hands. I don't know where does it go. And I guess that happens to all of us. I mean, that's normal. When we change money, when we get cash on hand, is cash gone. <laughs> uh, I try to, how do you say ahorrar? Save. Save. I try to save. But oh, really? Uh, yes. You are able to save? I don't even remember what's that like. Yo ni me acuerdo cómo es. For any emergency. emergency. Oh, man. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could. Yes. Well, thank you, Amber. Nice talking thank to you. Stay, you, stay in line because I get the, I'll get the attendance right now. Amber Elian okay. Gomez. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher, present. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Hello, oh, María Luisa. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Walter. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Thank you, William. Janil Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you, Janira. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odones. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you. Okie dokie. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Just let me fix something here. Okay. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Claudia, hello, Claudia, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm crying. Hello, Claudia. I'm just great, you know, here, same old story as usual. And tell me, Claudia, how was your day? What did you do today? Um, it's okay. I have a good day. Oh, really? That's great. Good to yes. hear that. You finish with the grading? Grading? What does this mean? Okay, I'm asking you this. Look, I am I am asking you, did you finish grading? That means that's short for did you finish grading your exams? Grading, checking. Calificar. Asignar notas. Claudia. I think we lost her. Okay, we will get back to her later. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Nicolas, how are you? How are you, teacher? Good evening, everybody. Good Hello. evening, Nicolas. How are you? Let's see. Come on, Nicolas, tell me, what were you doing in Aguachapan yesterday so late at night? Well, uh, I, I was in... I was in the morning. In the morning, I was in a in a meet with uh, in a meeting. Directives. Well, in, actually, in, I was in a meeting. I was on a meeting. On a meeting. On a meeting. On a meeting yes. with directives of uh, water. Water. Yes, directive of the organization of water system. Okay. I was in a meeting with water systems organization. No, with the directives of water system organizations. Water system, water system organization in the morning. Yeah. And yesterday, I I visited uh, uh, other other water system, and we we. We are evaluated the evaluated. evaluating the function of a distribution of water. Okay, well, that's very interesting. So you finished late. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's in the in the in the in the in the afternoon. Uh, we are uh, we work were? in the moon. We we were we were walk walking walking in the mountain in the mountain on the, on the mountain on, on the mountain uh, and a view we uh, we we were. We were view the nacimiento, nacimiento de agua, eh, donde aflora el agua. Yeah, the well. That would be a well. But the problem is that in Spanish we use the word well just for pozo. Yeah, because. Uh, It would be well, I think. Here, no. Uh, what a source. That, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, but what a source is, it could be any type of water source, okay? I mean, a river is a water sor source. If you start, yes. uh, if you start like pumping water out of it, it's a water source. But in this case is the, we are talking about a well, 
Let me try to remember. I'll tell you. I won't forget it. Okay. okay? And and in all directions, uh, 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 I view the river and I view the river, the components, uh, the state of the water. Okay. Uh, the quality? You mean the quality? Uh, yes, the quality. The, the quality is uh, run. Uh, no, no, no test, no test, testel or tester, testel, no tester, only visual. Yes, and oh, okay. other action. I, I understand. I, 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 I was built the mountain, the, 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 the. Components on the rainforest, uh, the forest, uh, the the concentration of the concentration of three, three, okay, yes, three, and and I decided uh, in I just see. He uh, decided the what actions are necessary for the protect the okay. the uh, area. Okay, now uh, perfect, Nicolas. Just a little thing. You were not you were not viewing the mountain. You were you were looking at. Okay, looking at. Yeah, in that case, in that case, you were looking at. Okay. Looking that. Looking at. Check it in this in the Zoom chat. I said the post on the Zoom chat. I was looking okay. at the mountain. Thank you very much, Nicholas. I was looking at the mountain. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, I was looking at the mountain. Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. Welcome back. Where have you been, my friend? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yesterday I can connect because I couldn't. I couldn't connect because uh, uh, in in uh, in my house it was raining very hard and the electricity is uh, how do you say se fue o se cortó. Okay. Nice. You say there was a blackout. There was a blackout. Uh, electricity. That and means uh, that means that means hubo un apagón de energía. There was okay. a blackout. Blackout. And for for that reason, I, I can I I couldn't connect it. Okay. Now I'm sorry, Carlos. I'm so sorry. Instead of saying for that reason, it's better if you just say. Like this, look, that's why I I wasn't able to connect. That's why I wasn't able to connect. In this case, you are being more specific because when you say I wasn't able to connect, you're saying no fui capaz de conectarme, okay? Okay. You're expressing that you didn't have the ability nor the capability of connecting. Okay, so tell me, how's the weather right now where you live? Oh, actually, it's, uh, it's uh, actually don't, don't raining. It's not uh, raining right now? It's not raining in this moment, but uh, in the afternoon, uh, was raining. Okay, so that means that it's kind of fresh. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, that's terrible. You know, I got my fan on <laughs> almost in front of me because it's hot. For me, it's hot right here, right now. Okay. I uh, sometimes I turn on the fan because uh, the, the mosquitoes. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, they get they get excited. Yes. <laughs> hey, well. You should get um, you should get mosquito repellent. 
Yes, I I I have my, my mosquito repellent, but only protect me for about two hours, and when I I forget, After, uh, and yeah, they start they start beating you. Yes. <laughs> well, you, you should get a uh, natural repellent like uh, you should get estoraki. Uh, Do you know, know. what? Estora case, uh, the the the. Uh, say? Just give me a second. I'm talking about the, the the sediment that is left after people processes a balsam. Ah, okay. When they process the balsam, you know the process of balsam. No teacher, I don't know. Okay, they cut like the, the like the skin of the tree. They burn it. It starts like like bleeding the tree. They put uh, some cloth pieces of cloth there to absorb the the savia. When when they have absorbed the savia, they put it on a on big pot. They put fire. It boils. Uh, they okay. put it on water. It boils and the 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 balsams get separated from the from the clothing and it's heavier so it doesn't mix with the water okay okay because it's thicker after that what they do is that they uh, um, they twist it manually okay in some little presses and princess and in order to strike the last but when they do that I mean, parts of the of the skin of the tree, and down there with the the sediment, queda como el sedimento parte del árbol. That it's called estoraque. Uh, what you do is that you put it like in a little pan, on algo de metal, something, a little bit of a little piece of tin. You put it there. You put perhaps a little bit of oil. You put fire on it and it starts uh, and it starts burning. It burns slow. Or you put some coals and it starts burning. And the smell is so delicious, it's good for your for your respiratory system, and it's good for mosquitoes. They get away. It's a good repellent. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Thank you for for your explanation about it. <laughs> uh, I I I don't I never uh, see. never see I never see also I the, never see I never seen I... the process. Yes, but uh, it's it is that is interesting. Uh, I I think uh, I smell uh, I, I because I, I I think in Saumerio teacher <laughs> yeah it's something a little bit different something a little bit different okay teacher the smell is different it's okay yeah, but it's it's a good smell. It's a good okay. smell. I like it. Well, thank you, Carlos. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Hey, Maria Alejandra, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Evening. You? How are you? I'm just fine. Just great. Tell me, <laughs> how was your day? Today, I pay the time when yesterday don't work, didn't work. <laughs> Okay, what time did you finish today? Oh, that means that today you had a lot of work, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I finished my work at 7 p.m., but I work a lot of, uh, all the time. I don't have a, a space. I didn't have. A... I didn't have a space. Yeah. A space. Um, and I have a lot of work. Maybe today, uh, facturar? I don't know. Bill? 
a bill me uh, preventy police policies policies it's a lot of policy in the day the um, uh, no no es forecast the el promedio the average the average, uh, the average uh, 15 16 but 17 is a lot of oh really yes that's interesting <laughs> so it's good that you are finally working my dear yes it's good i have a good yeah day. that's nice that's nice i mean being productive is always good <laughs> yes i for the company yes, uh, is very good for the goals or the sailor yeah of course and the only problem is that you end up your day like tired yes because but today have had a lot of problem with the platform maybe uh, the problem is yeah. the, the support for the platform the people mm -hmm. who are in support yeah i understand yes. Yes. Danira. Yes, no. Sure. No. Sure. Um, the cases accumulate. 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 Um, is more difficult when my other co worker and me stay alone because all the people in Dominican Republic uh, get out for this case. And you are still working. Yeah, I imagine it's it's more difficult. But the good thing is that you're here in the class, you finish your working day and you are ready to start having fun with me. Welcome to the class, Maria Alejandra. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Who else do I have here? And let me see, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And tell me, Wilfredo, how was your day? What did you do today? It was uh, a common day. A normal making, day? A normal day, yeah. Uh, making making the same procedures and routines routines giving. all the time yeah and um, but a little tired but i'm ready to learn that's excellent that's the attitude my friend what that's are you teacher attitude oh let's see working working went to therapy came back home rested a little bit then working working so the same as you man just routine just routine but i mean i'm cool i feel relaxed actually i mean i start feeling tired around 11 around 11 12 i feel like oh, i'm dead teacher and what yes? what time do you uh, do you work every night do you finish working yeah well i finished we... the class i finished the class at 10 10 15 somewhere around but after that i have to this class is recorded as you know so i have to wait for the system to convert the video to mp4 uh, depending on, on on the web on the traffic in the web it can vary i mean sometimes it goes fast like in 15 minutes it's gone sometimes it takes one hour sometimes it takes one hour and a half and then i have to upload it to youtube and it's the same sometimes i mean usually it takes around 15 20 minutes but there are some days that it's crazy i mean on average i go i finish working with everything checking out your your homeworks checking out homeworks and then 
checking out the platform, the advances on the platform, I am done like around 12, average midnight. Right. On the special occasions when the, when, the, when the web is slow or Zoom is slow, I have gone to sleep around three. But yeah, how mean, do you say but, that you're uh, acostumbrado? Yeah, I am used to it. I am used to it. I'm sorry. And you say, you say it like this. You say it, hold on. Oh my gosh. Hold on. You say it like this. You get used to it. Used to it. Yeah, you um, get used I, to I it. I asked you, teacher, because. Uh, when I was starting, um, almost almost finished my my uh, career degree. My career. Yeah. Career. My career. Okay. Career. Yep. Okay. I I remember that I I start to study around. 1 or 2 a.m. and I, I I I had to to get up at 5 a.m. but I I slept uh, two hours three hours every oh, really yeah but I, I remember it is very very stressful because the next day yeah I the following day the stuff. following day you must have been like waste of like very yeah. tired but now if i go to bed um early around 9 p.m i can't sleep nothing um me neither that's uh, terrible i i'm not able to sleep i i have i have to go i i have to go i have to go bed around 11 and i i just used to it um sleep around five hours yeah i mean your body get used to it yeah let's see when i was at the university i used to stay up late but not studying man i was boring all the time and i mean my problem was that uh i am not good at studying for exams i could never study for an exam actually i never did I mean, if I study for an exam, I get nervous. So I just don't. And believe me, it works for me. Huh? So in my in my whole career, uh, I mean, I wasn't. I never studied for an exam. It gets me nervous. It confuses me. So in my case, what it works is that I pay attention to the class and I work in the class and and I participate a lot and. If I understand it, if I understood it once, it's okay. It's there already. See, oh, okay. una vez, se me queda. But I mean, to study, to stay up late and study, no, man, that's terrible for me. I had a classmate teacher that he never, never, I, I remember uh, saw him study because yeah. he always, Told us, hey, but, but it is easy. And I, oh, he only read the book, saw the book. Yeah, watch the book. Watch yeah. the book. And he told told us, um, oh, I did the same exercise that, that the engineer explained us in the class. But it is easy. Oh, no, I mean, but we have to work, we have to study very hard to to get a good, a good, uh, not a teacher. It is like- Grade, grade, um, grade. Grade, grade. Yeah, you know, the only one that I had grade. to study, the only one that I had to study, and uh, let me see, what was it? Solidos. So I, 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 I enjoyed when I was studying this. Yeah, this but man, 
Yeah, when I was studying solidos, man, that was crazy because I mean, you get a lot, a lot of, a uh, lot of formulae that you gotta remember. Yeah, and that's a, a problem. Mix. Yeah, it's a mix the uh, knowledge about and many subjects you have to to know. Yeah, but, but I mean, it's good. I mean, are you engineer is, teacher? No, nah, but I was somewhere around there. I was <laughs> somewhere. I was like uh, taking the, uh, for becoming an electrical engineer. Electrical engineer? Yeah, my dad wanted me to be an electrical engineer. And so they sent me there. So when I started working, I jumped to what I wanted, who was teaching. But yeah, I took a, a couple of, I stayed a couple of semesters in the electrical engineering. It was, I mean, it was easy. It was not, it was not that complex. I mean, it was the beginning, of course, the beginning is easy. Oh. I mean, I imagine that for their own, the career comes the heavy stuff. But I have a dream teacher. Maybe one day I am going to teach math. Because I like it. I like so much. Math. Well, you know, I understand math. I can solve math. It's not a problem for me, but I am not able to teach math. Never. Okay. I could never teach math. No. I have I have taught physics. I love physics. But math is something that I mean I understand it, but uh, uh, I, I'm not able to explain it. Really? For me, it's very difficult to explain it. Yeah. Yeah, to but explain math. Physics? To make... Physics is cool. I love it. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, I like I, I, I like to physics, but I... I like I it too. I like I it explain. too. I like it too. Ah, okay. I like it too, but I guess that it is easy for me to teach math. It is easier than, than physics. Hmm. Well, I, I don't know. It's just it's just a matter. Actually, it's it's a matter of, of of projections. And you know what? It has to do with the different. Uh, nowadays, we call it the uh, different tipos de inteligencias. I mean, some of us are like uh, spatial. Some of us, I mean. Our brain are everybody's different. So we process this information in a different way. And that allows us to be better at, to have better abilities for one area than to stand for others. I mean, some people, if you are good at math, you are good at chess. And you could and you could be good at playing some instruments also. It's because the way your brain works. And I mean, in engineers, that happens a lot, but that's the way, that's the way you think. And actually, uh, in, my, in my specialty, we studied that. It's quite interesting. One day we will talk about it, Wilfredo, because it's a very, very interesting subject. <laughs> but nowadays, you know, I see yeah. some of your classmates like, hey, we need to practice more. So. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Nice talking to you. Welcome, teacher. Hey, great to know that, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Shanira. Hello, Shanira. Hello, teacher. How is it going? Well, Janira, you know, I have to deliver some pretty interesting news for you. According to some of your co-workers, they report me that your department has not been um, attending their requests in the <laughs> most proper of ways. And it's, would you mind please not giving math. us an explanation? It's not my, my area, teacher. Okay, then what's your area specifically? Well, in this company, the IT is very big. Then uh, they speak about um, infrastructure. They they are talking about they are talking about infrastructure is another area 
Okay, what's yours? Well, is the name is JP mm -hmm. because it's about grapevine that is a ERP. Uh, in this area are four people. Um, four persons, four persons. Four person, my boss, um, uh, one programmer and two analysts. Okay, and you are? Analyst. Okay, so if you are telling me that you're an, an analyst, what exactly do you analyze? Oh, well, we solve problems about this uh, software that is uh, ERP. ERP is a software that, I don't know, how do you say, um, is for all, all of company talking okay, about yeah, yeah. accounting. Perfect. I mean, uh, you're doing great. Just remember something, I am interviewing you and right now you are avoiding my question. I'm asking you, what do you, if you're an analyst, what do you analyze? What I'm asking you is this, when I ask you that question, I'm asking you, please tell me, what do you do with the information you gather? Okay. Well, the, the problem is this, for answer your question, I need to, to a, a for, context. Okay, remember, Janita, for answering or to answer. Okay, to, to answer your question, I need to give you a context. Then I okay. try to explain what, what is uh, ERP. ERP. Okay, let's, is, let's, yes, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, ERP is a software that you, that you can use for all accounting thing, for example, sales, uh, payments, um, for charging, uh, customers, vendors, uh, GL. GL is a, a general layer, journal, okay. and another stuff. Then we we analyze the information about this software and solve uh, problems about this software. In my case, I, I solve problems with this software and information that come from another software. Uh, in this case, is, uh, the, the name is CFLEX. CFLEX is another program then the information, uh, I don't know if I can use travel, travel information, okay. travel information between this software. Then I, I chair, chair, in charge or chair? I am in charge. I am in charge uh, about this, this task. I am in charge of these tasks. I am in charge? All, all, remember, all. All of this task. Okay, thank you very much, Janita. Well done, excellent, excellent. Thank you, teacher. I'm sorry, I was pushing you a lot. <laughs> no, thank you, teacher. Thank you, because this, this interruption improved improve us i know it's cool and that's actually what we are going to start right now you were the, the you were the guinea pig okay Indians. right now guys <laughs> we are going to do exactly this we are going to explain to our classmates specifically what do we do but remember, this is intermediate. Do you remember that in basic you said, oh, I am, uh, Claudia said in basic, I am a teacher, I teach math, I work in a, in a private school. Now I want long explanation, specific, detail. I will divide you in groups. Actually, I will divide you in groups of three members. 
you will explain in your classmates what do you do but i will i will be passing by and something that i want you to do is this i want you to ask questions to your classmates not just listen to their explanation please if you are understanding exactly what they are doing what do they do on their jobs let's ask them and if you don't understand even better make them explain to you because i mean there are certain areas that are very specific like Janiras, like Fernando's, uh, Wilfredo, Mr. Osorio, every area, actually, every one of your jobs has certain uh, quirks that not everybody else knows. Because I mean, uh, I'm not working in programming. I'm, I mean, I'm not a supervisor. I don't work in the, in the, in Wilfredo's area. Carlos is in charge of people, so he works in a whole different way. Nicolás uh, is an engineer, so he works a whole different story. Um, Daniel also in, with his company. So I want you to explain to the other person exactly your, your abilities and your capabilities related to your job, okay? What do you do and how do you do it? That's exactly the two questions. What do you do? That's to explain the activities you perform. How do you do it? Okay, what do you put for it? Okay, Janita was explaining to me, oh, I, in order to do that, I need to, and she started explaining me the other part of the process. That's what I want you to do, okay? Are my, is my instruction clear for you guys? Okay, before we move on, let me get the attendance. It's exactly the time for the attendance. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Present. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher, I'm a hope. Thank you. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Maria Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Martha Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, I repeat. Your activity is this. You are going to explain to your classmates what do you do, how do you do it. I'll give you five minutes in the breakout room so you can express. When we come back here, I will give you one minute per person for you to explain to me as much as you can about your activities. I will, I will need well-structured sentences, okay? So you are going to be speaking fast. You, I will be checking your fluency, pronunciation, and vocabulary, okay? So right now that you are going to go to the groups is for you to prepare. You're going to be in a small group, working, helping each other, asking questions so you can interact more, but then you're going to explain to me and to the rest of your classmates. Okay, are you ready? Let's jump in, please.
Hello. Hello, ladies. There's Claudia, Silvia, and Marcella. Hello, teacher. Hello, Silvia. Hey, Claudia, long time no see you. Yes, teacher. You never, you never activate I that camera to turn on my camera because I I have clip. Okay. <laughs> Sylvia, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Ready for the activity, Sylvia? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, you are going to no, you are going to be last. Claudia is going okay. to start explaining to you. What does she do? Okay, Claudia, do you understand the activity? You explain what do you do? How do you do it? Okay, um, I will recommend you this. In my I will job. recommend you this. Yes, I will recommend you this. Le recomiendo algo. Take one minute to organize your ideas and then explain. Okay. Okay. I, if I were oh. your client, what I or what kind of support do you provide me? Provide for me. Uh, sorry, I don't understand your question. What time? If I was your client, what kind of uh, type? Uh, kind. Ah, sorry. What type? What kind? Uh, I I sell sale to companies or natural persons and I how do you say seguros individuales or flotillas como se diría flotilla group hold on just a second a uh, group is calling me perdón regreso un instante okay uh, how do you but, Okay, let's see. Wasn't Maria Luisa here? Yes, teacher, but maybe she have to, she have internet problems, maybe, I don't know. Okay, do you understand the activity? Uh, I believe that I have to talk about my work, really. Yes, what do you do? I will recommend you get a minute so you can organize your ideas and then explain to your classmate, okay? Okay. Recomendaría tomar the... un minuto para organizarlo y luego explicarlo. Uh, yeah, what you do? Okay. Okay. Commission accounting. Commission accounting. Okay. Uh, okay. Then I need to um, let's make a pause. Let's make a pause, guys. What about if you take 30 seconds, one minute, think, organize your ideas, structure your ideas, and then explain to your classmates? Okay. Try it like that. It's going to be easier. Organize your ideas right now. Uh, what do I do? Perhaps one something that could help you to do that is this. Don't write whole sentences. Write keywords. In this case, it would be verbs. Hagan un listado de hacer un listado. Hacemos un listado. Ponemos los verbos que expresan las ideas, las actividades que hago, en el orden que las hago. And then, in order to explain your classmate, you just need to check out the verb. That could work. Ya lo tenía así, pero lo está explicando. Hello, sorry. Okay. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Yeah, okay. Bye. For for teach. For teaching yes, is for teaching. For yes. teaching. I I use uh, the. Teaching or training? In his case, training. 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 In, this, in that case, is training teacher. I have actually, to use actually, the, if you are a trainer, you are a teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's it, it, it the same. Okay. 
is the same. Just that in the context, for the context is training. Training and, and retraining. Yeah. Because uh, in, in the case of new hires is training. In personnel. Uh, in active personnel. Personal activity. Okay, active personal is retraining. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. And exists and exists a method to teaching. It's it, the the name of the method is AMT. Analytical AMT, AMT in, in siglas. Analytical approach. Uh, analytical methods methods training amt analytical mm -hmm. method training okay mm -hmm. and and there are many steps to to teach in in order in, uh, many in steps C to follow in order to teach. many steps uh, many steps to follow and it's mm -hmm. and about overlaying and and work administration and step by step and develop of ability and resistance. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about yeah. Maria Alejandra? What does she do? Oh, you haven't finished. Well, I'm going. You are doing your job, guys. I'm just going. I'm just passing by. Okay. I don't be sure. Uh, normally, that is my that's activities I, I have uh, in, in a normal day. Teacher. Yes, Carlos. Sorry. I, I, I have a question. And the activity, oh. the, uh, the activity is about, uh, speak about uh, our normally routines or daily routines in our work? Yeah, it could be because what I'm asking you is this, Carlos, what do you do? A que se dedica? Okay. Uh, What's your position in your okay. company? I, in, my, in my work, I am a financial coordinator. Okay. Uh, You're a financial coordinator. Yes. Um, how do you do that? And then you start explaining your activities. You are in charge of a group of persons, right? You are in charge of how many persons you told me? I have uh, eight persons. Uh, I, I res responsible for eight persons. So you head a department? Yes. yes <laughs> okay. You say it like that. I head a department of nine persons. Okay. Okay. And I coordinate because that's what I imagine you do. You coordinate and then you can tell me which activities do they develop that you have to oversee. Coordinate okay. and oversee, supervisar. Yeah. In this case is this, look, oversee. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay yeah. I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm sorry, I need to go check another group. Thomas, hey. Your your land eh, no no have no 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 they're protected no están protegidas you need your organization need eh, forest eh, this land and prepare condition for ca eh, eh, carrier water and this is this is my 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 actions in the in my work. That's okay. all. Okay, Janira, did you explain yours? Yes, I do. Okay, I did. I did. Okay, did you explain it in easy vocabulary, Janira? <laughs> I, I tried to uh, guys, was easy to understand me when I explained you 
what and how I do my my work. Guys? Francisco. No, Francis, Francisco ran away. Okay. Um, Nicolás? Francisco le dio miedo contestar. <laughs> Nicolás? <laughs> This yes. is work. <laughs> I know, I know, I understand. Yanira, yeah, Yanira uh, she is uh, a, a girl uh, strong in your in her uh, mental strong, mental strong. Your, he, she, in her, she is in her. Yeah, remember her. her. Her means su de ella. En su. Ah, okay. In her. Okay. Uh, her is mentally strong. Oh, Your... En ese caso, en ese caso, perdón, Nicolás, le explico. Uh, her is, puede ser un pronombre posesivo o un adjetivo posesivo. Entonces quiere decir que al ser eh, en esos dos casos nunca van al inicio de una oración. Al inicio de la oración nosotros colocamos pronombres personales. Okay? She is a strong person in her activities, in her job. Okay? Yes. Entonces, el her, ¿qué quiere decir? El problema que nosotros tenemos que, es que para nosotros en español solamente tenemos la palabra su. Y nosotros con su hacemos milagros porque decimos su de él. Por ejemplo, estoy hablando de que Francisco en este momento él está en su trabajo. Utilicé su para referirme al trabajo de Francisco, algo que le pertenece. ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. Su cabello. Por... Sí, pero por ejemplo, este, Yanira... Dice de que a ella le gusta mucho ir al parque con su perrito. Su de ella. ¿Ok? Fíjese, Nicolás, que me encanta su espejo. Su de usted. En español lo metemos para todo. Lo usamos hasta yes. para su de ellos en algunas ocasiones. But in English you are specific. ¿Ok? And in English, when you are talking about a lady, it's her. When you are talking about a boy, it's his. Okay? So, Janira is a strong person in her job. Got it? Okay. In her job. Yes. For example, uh, Janira practice, uh, practice, a uh, uh, Football in her in her house. Okay, that's that's right. You can use it like that. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Francisco is missing. He's working right now. Okay. Here, I'm here for a moment. But I'm here. <laughs> okay, Francisco, if you're able to explain to us, what do you do? Okay, teacher. <clears throat> and, uh, we are many things, uh, but the more or most important in in my joy is uh, making a. a Non, non intrusive inspection. Okay, non intrusive. No, non intrusive inspection uh, by X ray. Uh, how do how do that uh, we uh, get the uh, many many information about uh, Document.
Okay, let's see, almost everybody's coming back. Hey there, Susanna, you're back. Okay. Let's see who's gonna be first. Uh, the one who's playing with her hair, perhaps. Let's see, let's see. Roxana, hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Roxana. Please explain to me what do you do? What I am, what I do. Yeah, what do you do? Remember, whenever you get that question asked, it means a que se dedica. What do you do? Okay. Uh, in my case, she works. I. <laughs> in my case, I um, I'm working in commission account accounting, and my specific uh, task is uh, create sales com uh, to uh, internal and external agent. But first, I need to uh, get the information. Uh, general about the uh, profile life. And then uh, I make changes, changes in the profile life if it's necessary. For example, change uh, accounting um, banking, cuenta bancarias. Yes. Uh, change um, basic information, uh, address, for number, uh, uh, email, uh, and others. And then uh, prepare the payroll uh, for internal and external agents about uh, goals, apply goals for uh, each group. And provide support with uh, some uh, specific uh, function in the platform uh, that uh, I use with... Uh... Okay, thank you very much, time. Okay. Excellent, thank you, well done. Let's see, Fernando, your turn, your time starts right now. Okay, in my case, I work in IT area and I am, I am system engineer and I work in my area. I work in a regional company in Central America I provide support uh, to many people at any given time because we use an ERP named Oracle EBS. And this ERP for the present time is, is out of the day or out of date. Oh, it's, it's old and- Outdated. Uh, outdated, sorry. And uh, we use the, the same ERP in the, in the region, five countries, uh, can you imagine how many people use it and how many problem, how many problem um, present? And my worry is solve this problem, analyze new requirements for time. Thank you. Excellent. Well done. Well Thank done, you. Fernando. You got me hooked. Okay, let's see. Jensi, your turn. I am an auditor. I am a financial and fiscal auditor. I review uh, if the business companies are applying the um, international, local, and internal regulation that they have. Uh, for example, uh, some of the companies uh, don't need don't need to have a um, fiscal report because they, they are not obligated for the law. Um, we, check, we check if they are uh, paying their taxes correctly. Uh, and also uh, we send um, reports about, uh, about the cash flow, if the, um, the accounting pros process is correctly according to, to the 
to the normative. Okay. okay, hold on. Thank you very much, Jensi. Well done, well done, well done. Let's see who's next. Mm -hmm. Ambar, your turn. Well, uh, I am an um, insurance agent in Dominican Republic. I I give the follow database and I call clients and I provide information about insurance, car insurance, and I give the, the best options for my clients uh, is depending for their, how do you say, necessities? According to their needs. According to not their the, Not depending, needs. according in this case. According to their needs. Exactly. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's see, next, Martha. Hi, teacher. Hi. My, my talk. Yes. Okay, I am Analyst GP. I work in system administration area. My responsibility is create a uh, new users. Uh, create uh, new companies in my in my company. Uh, configure configuration the company. Um, assign roles and tasks. Um, users. Um, test new feature for the system. Analyze different problem. Uh, advice about the solution. Sometimes I solve them. I project administration too. I recommend a solution for new tasks. I update documents, manuals, um, okay. process. Thank you, Martha. Well done. Time's out. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. You got excited. Jose Osorio, your turn. Uh, hi, teacher. Uh, in yes. my case, I am an I am an industrial engineering technician, and I am in charge of the retraining personnel in in sewing met methods that are necessary to to sew a, a garment, specifically in if that product will will be modified. Uh, I must ensure that people acquire the ability or, or motor skills and acquire speed and, uh, and adherence to establish established movements to achieve this effective quality. Uh, I must achieve the proposed training goals in, in this way. I contribute to the fulfillment of the company's goals. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, excellent. Now let's see, next. Uh, William. Hi, teacher. Please, start. I am employee and group uh, for Romans. Uh, I know as uh, galvanist. Uh, some normal activities that I every day are uh, revision of the machine and it parts. Printer calibration. 
quality control and general inventory. Uh, my goal is uh, very hard. Uh, every day, uh, always, uh, how do you say I, teacher? There's. Always that day, uh, many activities new. Uh, but Thank you very much. Thank you, times. Great, well done, William. Excellent, excellent. Let's see, Jensi, you did it already? Yes, right? Marcela, Marcela is the one, it's next. Marcela, please. Hi, teacher. Hi. I have problems with my internet. <laughs> So I uh, work in uh, fear of auditor auditory. So we request the financial and tax information to the client. Then process the information and make a database about that and check it exceeds difference between the base and accounting or the information person to ascend. And say okay. we check okay. the balance of important accounts and other financial analysts. Analyze. So later we make um we say carta de gerencia. Okay. Management uh, letters. And some letter to uh, with the test all the observed. Observation that we. Okay, time. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Wilfredo, your turn. Okay, I am going to display my activity. Normal activity and in the morning, the first, the first activity is uh, check attendance. If um. If it is necessary to cover some position where uh, we have some permission, we have to cover this position to download capacity. Then I need to I need to make a efficiency and quality report and send it to my boss. Then uh, after that, I need to to check that. Or, or I need to assure the procedure to verify quality. Um, then I, I need I, to make sure. I need to make I sure. Need to make sure. Thank you very okay. much, Mister. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Wow. I'm thinking that one minute was not enough. You got. You are now explaining a lot of info. Let's see, let's see, who's next? Who hasn't participated? Daniel, Daniel, you are being quiet today, Daniel. It's your turn. Okay, teacher. Uh, I am a civil engineer. I work in my own company. The principal things we do when we have a construction project is to visit me or my wife that is also the uh, associate of the company. company. We visit the project to see if there is a problem to make uh, some different type of questions about everything. And we talk up with the client to see if they have question and always want to make a a great communication in both ways because the people feel more comfortable if they know what is happen, happening in the project every day. On a daily basis. Daily basis. Thank you very much, Daniel. Very concise, I like that. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Susanna, your turn. Hello, teacher. Please. You 
can I start, Susana? Hello, teacher. Yes. Uh, my activity, uh, my work is a review of information, all information by company, company. Relation with the expenses, income, assets, and cash flow. Um, re, I am registered in accounting programs. Uh, also, I made financial report and taxes, and then, then the comparison, the, the ex, and explain the budget and ex, expenses real. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see. Next, next, next. Fabiola, please. Um, I'm a sales promoter. Some of my activities are negotiar and sell and sell placing brands in a new product. I try to solve a problem with a client. And see that our, our place have a correct stop in different place. The main thing in my area is to sell and sell. The only. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see who is next. Mm -hmm. Walter, please. Okay, teacher. So in my case, and they create the new design, they require the claims, and the new design, the embroidery. The new design, the heat transfer, um, the claim requiring and position the zipper. And after that, um, the chat email, if necessary, and answer uh, the, uh, the different department. Uh, and create a, a new production. Uh, as Karen uh, as necessary and uh, uh, the supervisor and the different the different uh, the different embroidery the different uh, thank you very much Walter your time is okay. up okay just one okay. little thing Walter remember it is necessary to reply. To reply, okay. When you are talking about emails, when you me habla de correos electrónicos, you don't yes. answer emails. Answer so emails. The correos, oh. no answer, you reply, okay? You, okay, thank you. Perfect, thank you very much. Uh, Claudia, please. I am teacher at work high school. I teach math for A, 9, and 10 grade. I teach math online and professional at the same time. My responsibility are every day I set the computer, camera, and microphone, it's okay. Check the attendance and send the attendance to secretary. Record the classes, upload the classes and material in platform, create exam, a time not in platform, and more important, assess a student learning. Perfect, excellent. Assess student learning, great. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Where is Sylvia, your turn? Hello. 
Hello. Uh, yes. Can I start now? Please. Okay. Um, I usually, uh, I am a receptionist, so my responsibilities are to make reservations and to provide um, to provide information because you, uh, people are calling, they are asking for information. And we have a system. Uh, we have to work on that system because we need to check like the avail availability of the rooms. We have to check the dates that we can make reservations. And there, there we have the information of the clients that are coming to the hotel. And uh, when a client or a customer wants to make a reservation, I have to check first on the system uh, about the availability. If the, date, if the dates that they are requesting are available, um, I can explain the client about the, the details of the room that it's available. Um, then I I'm have- I'm sorry, Miss. Time's up. Thank you very much. Okay. You got excited. That's cool. Yes. Let's see, let's see. No, that's okay. That's fine, that's fine. Who's next, who's next? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Who's missing? Let's see, Roxana did it already, right? Right, yes. Maria Alejandra. Please. Okay, teacher. I am a subscription auxiliary of cars in uh, at insurance company. My activities are when the seller up, up load the cases in the platform, I take a case and check all the required information for the customer, for example, ID, license, signing documents, and bill of landing, and verify the all information is okay or according to the plan. And then I check market values of the cars and, fin and finally verify the vehicle inspections for the condition the cars um i say the car is okay or no um only that <laughs> okay. okay values values, values. okay values thank you you're welcome let's see hmm. maria luisa Please. I think it's still having problems with connection. Don't worry, Maria Luisa. Don't worry, don't worry. There's uh, Wilfredo here ready to start. Teacher. Please, Wilfredo, your turn. Okay. I, I told you a few minutes, uh, but I'm going to go. Uh, we, we have to explain another activities. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad then. Perdón. No, don't worry. Don't worry. My bad. No worry, teacher. Let's see. Who's missing? Yo sé que me falta alguien. Who's missing? Carlos. That's the one who's missing. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, I'm a accountant teacher and I work in an international organization. Um, for my specific uh, responsibilities, I coordinate a team, eight people in, in, in financial department. And I'm responsible to review uh, the payment process, for example, payroll payment to suppliers and incomes in, for donations in, in for gra grants, I think, don donations yes, is grants. grants. Uh, for grants, um, I have to oversee the, all the operations uh, for my, my team um, because they are uh, responsible to re re register 
uh, all accountant systems. And uh, I, I only that teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. No, it's okay. It's okay. You did pretty well. Thank you very much. Let's see, Fernando, you participated? Yes, teacher. Then where's Janira? Yes. Janira, do it again. Yeah, you did it at the beginning. Do it again, please. <laughs> now, okay. now's my time. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, an engineer. I am a system analyst i'm in charge of gp software is a counting software and i'm charged to synchronize information between a billing software and accounting software sometimes i solve problems in accounting software like uh, uh, problems with a uh, balance account or register for entities like uh, customers, vendors, and another stuff. And that's it. Okay, perfect. Francisco, tell me, are you able to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Okay, teacher. Uh, I am working in Cotecna de Salvador. Uh, I am a system operator and if we make a non-intrusive uh, inspection through X-ray to X-ray, and we make a, a inspection to well, good, good t-shirt, uh, no t-shirt, uh, bienes. Good. Goods, goods, yes. Okay, teacher. Uh, we make a special to good to pass through the tombstone and we make a different report. And for example, a report to uh, uh, anomalies or maintenance report this year. Okay, thank you very much. Great, well done, well done. Guys, you did great, actually. Everybody did a good, good activity. Congratulations. It's quite interesting, quite interesting. Okay, let me show you a little something that you will do on your own. Okay, we are gonna go to the manual, okay? Okay, let's see. We were supposed to work. Okay, this is what you did, what some of you did and send me. Okay, now you need to complete the satisfaction survey using the words in the box. We have zero dishes, dining, talking, no, I'm sorry, taking and server. You are going to you to put these words in here, okay, in those spaces. That's an activity that you're going to do and send to me. Now, these questions, also you are going to answer them. Are satisfaction service a good way to make sure procedures are followed in a restaurant? Do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places will help employees follow those procedures? This belongs to the manual, page number 23, exercise two and three. You need to answer these two questions to fill in those spaces. Then also you will use a dictionary to find the meaning of the words below. Okay guys, now in this exercise, page number 24, exercise number four, we are going to do a different type of exercise. I want no meaning, I want definition, okay? I don't want the meaning, no quiero la traducción. I want definition. So I want that word explained in English, okay? I want the word explained in English. Imagine that you are, that you are reading an English-English dictionary, okay? 
So let's forget about looking for vocabulary and trying to translate into Spanish. No, I want definition. So everybody can understand what is the meaning through the context. Is it clear? Si me explique? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Now let's see, let's see, let me see if was there anything else there? Oops. Okay, this exercise, we are not going to do it. And with this other exercise, no, because then we got to monitoring personal and that's tomorrow's. Okay, guys, now comments. Did you like your activity? Yes, teacher. Cool, yes. Cool. It, it was good, teacher. Okay, I hope everybody participated. Espero que todos hayan participado. Yes, let me see. Nobody's missing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Maybe we need two minutes for, for explaining. Yeah. This. <laughs> but you know something, Janira? The objective of the exercise was this. The first time I was talking to you guys, I mean, some of you use just like 10, 15 seconds to tell me what do you do? Okay. La primera vez ustedes se tardaron en 10, 15 segundos, me lo resumieron. You remember first time I was asking you, what do you do? You were very specific, very simple, very succinct. Now it has changed. Why? Because of what Janita says, almost all of you, casi todos ustedes, needed more time. Casi todos necesitaban más tiempo. And that's very good. I mean, that means uh, that you are improving. And actually the exercise is not just for me to realize your improvement in English. It's also for you to realize yourself, okay? How good are you improving? How much vocabulary have you gotten? And not just that, how much confidence? How much confidence you have developed on yourself? Cuanta confianza? Because I mean, you start, you start speaking, uh, you start speaking, you start expressing yourself, you use the English, you use the vocabulary seen in classes, you use extra vocabulary, and that's awesome. So you are doing pretty good. We will see the final activity. We will see how you're gonna do. I think two minutes is not going to be enough for you to start talking about your topic, okay? But that's not going to be a problem because I'm going to, to distribute all of you according to a small calendar that I am setting. Okay, before I continue, let's get the attendance right now because otherwise I forget and in the end I am like running. Just let me set it up here and get you right here. a second guys Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez present thank you Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández present teacher Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos present teacher Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia present teacher Uh, Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa de Morales de Corpeño. Thank you. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. A second. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, guys, next thing that I need to show you. Uh, let me see, just give me a second. is this i'm sorry i know that most of you have already done the exercise but it's mandatory for me to show it to you eh, yo sé que muchos de ustedes ya lo hicieron o ya conocen cómo hacerlo pero es es un requisito para mí mostrárselo así que les voy a compartir nada más eh, this screen okay we are in the english corporativo platform remember that you have here the section two you are supposed to have finished section two and also to have finished the midterm exam. In the midterm exam, we got different parts. Remember, in these parts, you're going to complete the following sentences using the correct word use of comparative adjectives. Here is, in this case, big, bigger, and so on, right? Then chose contrast. Traste, explains reason or purpose. Remember the connectors? And you're going to do all the parts, part number two, read the definition and match it with the correct word. This is quite easy, right? You are just going to be like shaking, okay? And remember, always submit. Next part, what do we do? What do these words mean? Match the meaning to the words. The same, to manage a situation or a problem. What is? Confirm, handle, notify, payment, greeting. In this case, it would be handle. So you check handle and that's it. And you continue with the exercise. Just check it out. Read the following prompts. Decide whether they are good service or bad service practice. And then you get R4 match the descriptions to their procedures. Okay, you have the description. This is the description and this is the name of the procedure. You remember we did this exercise? And in the end you hit submit and you will go to the results. Okay guys, well, time's up. Thank you very much. It's 9 p.m. already. Yes, I'm not sincere on that. It's 10 p.m. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you very much. I expect to see you tomorrow. Please, if you haven't finished with the platform and you finish tonight, let me know. Si no han terminado con la plataforma y terminan esta noche, me avisan, okay? Bye bye, guys. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Rest, thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good evening, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. Ah, see you tomorrow. Bye. See, Susanna, where did you?
tipo... Hey, William, you gone already? Okay, they left me alone tonight. Okay, let's see. Janita is reporting me that she finishes the midterm. Excellent. Okay, we are going to wait. Let's see. For tomorrow, we got a very interesting class. We're going to talk about uh, monitoring personnel. We are going to ask some questions to warm up, to get started. Then we are going to have a small conversation. It's going to be interesting. Then we get into vocabulary, nice new vocabulary, discussing questions. Wow, we will have a lot of activities tomorrow. Then we have to match vocabulary. After that, we get a schedule that we are going to solve. This unit is so great.
Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So guys, do not forget that you need to be there in classes. Hey, let's see, the friend is asking for help. Hmm. Okay, let's see, let's see. He's asking for help in one exercise of the platform. And the exercise is in section two. See what's his problem. No, it says two eleven. Oh, that's not to eleven.
Okay, we helped Alfredo finally with his activity, which is great. Let's say that way he's going to be able to finish. Okay, guys, due to the fact that nobody stayed tonight, we are going to finish our class saying goodbye, have a good night, expect everybody to finish the activities. And let's hope everything goes okay because we need those grades for tonight. Guys, nice. bye bye. Have a good night.